Shrine Podcast has begun. It's technically Friday, which means Combo Breaker starts technically today. Is that right? Not today. Yeah, I, I'm. Listen, I couldn't be. Uh, I don't think I could be more excited about Combo Breaker right now because um, I have time to actually enjoy it, which I haven't for like you know the past too long. I'm really looking forward to watching it and uh, like. Like really watching it, you know, um, I'm. It, it's also really great because, for the first time in recent memory, um, Combo Breaker. I don't have to leave Combo Breaker to go do stuff for my mother in law's birthday because her birthday always falls on Combo Breaker weekend. Uh, her birthday always falls on the same day. Go figure, right? But this year, no mother in laws getting between me and my Combo Breaker. I'm watching the whole thing. It's going to be great. I hope it's great. Tim, did you like the Combo Breaker stage that they added? I thought it was cool. Do you like I thought it was thing? interesting. Um, I think it's cool. I actually, I actually like this version better than the normal version with like all the white shit and whatever. I think that looks kind of cool. I think it's um, an improvement for sure, man. I think it's a, it's a huge step in the right direction. I saw the, yeah, I saw the Evo one too. The Evo, Evo one was good. Um, I have not I seen that I yet. Like I've the, not seen any of them but Combo Breaker. You guys should have posted up a picture of it. I saw it in here earlier. Um, I think I still prefer the white of the combo breaker. It looks good. I like, you know, that big, strong, like, stark white does something. Obviously, I like my sub when he's white, you know. Listen, let's, and don't, this isn't a race thing. Don't, don't bitches, stop it. He looks really <laughs> cool when he's wearing white. What are, what what are you looking forward to about combo breaker? Are you getting to watch it or are you, did you say I was you lucky. Not lucky? Um... I made a deal with my boss. If I work a six week, a six day work week, I can take Saturday off. And I basically, I was able to combine that with a vacation day on Sunday. And then I have a Memorial Day off, of course. So this is my first real vacation in a very long time. So I get to have a staycation. I get to watch all the combo mm. breaker I want. Um, well, I, I can't say that because I still have to study for the cybersecurity certification. But I, I in between, I get to watch as much combo breaker as I want. So. I'm really excited for everything, not just MK, but for Tekken, um, even a bit for Street Fighter. That's that's really exciting. Yeah, what what are the games that are that are there? There's those three. Soul Calibur, gotta yeah, be there. Soul Calibur's there. Um, is there the? <laughs> How many? Is there a better balance of anime games than there was at like fucking like Evo and shit from last year? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's we're, we're kind of like in the a- anime uh, fighting game renaissance right now. So um, we are. There's a lot. There's Dragon Ball Fighters. There's a uh, uh, that the Blaze Blue tag shits. Um, but that, doesn't Arc have a new one? Is it out or is it coming out? I think there's there there's words about a new Persona uh, fighting game, but um, I don't think anything mm. just came out. Uh, I know um, Uniel has had this giant resurgence, and a lot of that had to do with uh, the game being announced at Evo. That was sort of a, a a surprise. <laughs> so that but that game's yeah. killing it for numbers, which is surprising. So that's that's really awesome. Uh Grand Blue, yeah, yeah. There it was. Somebody posted it up there. I do not know anything about Grand Blue. I know Flo was uh pushing it pretty hard in his channel. That's literally it. I don't know anything else about He the game. would. It it is an Arc Systems game, isn't it? I, maybe. I, I have no idea. I mean it sounds like an Arc System game. Uh, whatever though. There, there, yeah. There's fucking. <sighs> there's some hype shit. There's some shit I'm hyped to, to watch. I'm just hyped, have to fucking watch. Max, what did he say? They're shitting up. I gotta stop reading the chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, what do you want to talk about first, man? Uh, I would say uh, some mi- minor proje- predictions. Predictions. Pro- predictions. Yeah, uh, just some. We'll project. You know who. What players For players or characters? Well, both. I'd say both. Mm-hmm. One of those is way easier than the other. Um, I don't know which one, which one uh, you mean. Oh, is Samurai Showdown there? No, nah, it's not out yet. It might be a demo oh. on the floor, though. <laughs> and boom, you all know exactly <laughs> how plugged in I am. We've been busy at busy. the moment. Listen, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to correct that. I'm working on it. Um. 
I'm excited about that thing too. It looks cool. But yeah, what uh, which one of those do you want to talk about first? Players or characters? I would say characters uh, is a big one right now. Okay. I think that yeah. everyone knows who's really strong at the moment. And um, I think it's also the biggest worry. Like, I'm not worried that Forever King is going to win Combo Breaker. I think that'd be sick. There's no, there's no player I don't want to win, but there are characters I don't want to see. And um, that that makes me a little nervous. Uh, and it's, it's kind characters of a you don't want to see too. So what's that? The characters you don't want to see? Oh yeah, for sure. Like Garrus. Garrus or... is one. Um, Aaron Black's another. Everyone, everyone hates Garrus. Yeah. Everyone hates Garrus. Right now. But you know, the, the character's play style is actually really interesting to me. It's just uh, there's too much of him. He's just all over the place. He is all over the place. Um, yeah, I think the Garrus hates understandable, but. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just know that I can't beat him when he comes online. But that's, you know, that's that. That's probably a me problem, more than anything. Uh, what other characters? I don't. I mean, I think some people are worried there's gonna be an oversaturation of Scorpion. I'm not worried about that. I mean, I'm gonna. I could be wrong. There's a strong possibility I'm wrong, but I don't expect to see a lot of Scorpion in top 16. Um, because I feel like at this point everyone knows how to fight him. He's still he's still really good. Easily top five in the game. Yeah. But I feel like yeah. everyone knows how to fight him right now. Um, like I, everyone was talking shit about him in the beta because it was the beta and that was stupid. But I, I was too. But man, no, he's uh, he's uh, formidable, man. He, he he's not jump changing. Well, you know it's funny. Uh, Almost all the top tiers in this game appear to be engineered as such. It really feels like they made these a lot of these characters <laughs> too good on purpose. Like Sonya, it, it's very clear to me they made this character too good on purpose. That that there's is it? Well, first of all, how many twelve frame projectiles have you seen in the history of any NRS game since the nineties? Yeah, no, like, yeah. That's crazy. Like when I saw that frame data, I was like, oh my gosh, that is fucking ridiculous. And she gets a crushing blow if you whiff the first one, or yeah, if the first one whiffs, you get hit by the second. Does hella di- crazy. That's another thing. Like, there's no way they gave all this damage to this character and thought this is normal. This isn't going to be messed up. So, do you do you think there is any element of um, you know the the the, the thing that like, whatever it was that like flattened NRS's tires during the development of this game, something happened and they it's you know they got behind on all kinds of things and they were just you can tell like they were struggling to, to keep pace and they kind of still are. I think they're still trying to work their way back and to stay on top of things. But like, do you think any of that has Anything to do with some of that stuff? Because, um, I mean, like, man, it was the same deal, like, with the towers that came out when they came out. Everyone was, they were oddly balanced and not, and they were just crazy shit that was dumb. Um, I you think that has any bearing in what you're talking about here, or I don't think you think the, it's more just the other thing? The grind politics has anything to do with it. I, it's hard to well, even no. suggest anything without sounding like a crazy conspiracy theorist, but it's very obvious they wanted Sonya to be good. I don't know why they wanted Sonya to be good. Okay. Um, I don't. I, th- I honestly think Garrus was an accident. I really don't think they knew how powerful he was out of the box. Um, I don't know, man. As much as they fucking had Warrior, Shri- not Warrior Shrine. That's our podcast. Thanks for listening. Uh, the 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 streams they did, the combat casts. As much as they had him on the combat cast, like man, you know, you could tell they really liked the way. Garrus fucking smells, and they want everybody else to smell him too. Well, I, I don't, I don't think that was it. Honestly, I think what happened was is they wanted to show more shit, and someone, whether it was WB or maybe it was Ed Boon himself, said, "No, we're not going to show anything. We're just gonna, this is going to be a slow burn. We've, this has been decided. So show more Garrus. We're not ready to show anything else." Uh, and they were stuck with Garrus. They had to show more Garrus. Um, or I think there was a plan they, to maybe do more shit did. like that, and they just got so behind that it they. Garrus is, was the next in line, and they didn't really have time to do anything else. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's it, hard. It definitely could have just been a, a a a a symptom of, like I said, whatever it was that was holding it back. Like, listen, like it's weird that they think about things like that Devora situation where they showed the render of her that was not done, obviously, and like they didn't talk about her for fucking months. Like, there's been so much weird shit just part of the is their development cycle. There's there like there's no way that didn't trigger. 
into this other side of stuff, but not the same way that did other stuff. I but have a you know, just like theory about her it, as well. And I think I, I have a uh-huh. feeling why she's so trash in this game, but I don't know what's <laughs> true or not. You know, uh, um, have you played? Have you labbed her? Any? No, she. I, there's only four characters in this game. I have not labbed at oh, all. Oh, you won't them. play Devora. I forgot. You got. Bug well, I'll play her just because I, I gave her such a fucking trash, awesome name. So I can't wait to take her into sets. What is it? Uh, please delete. <sighs> yeah. Kappa. So, yeah, you know, it, it seems legit. We were talking about this earlier. MK11 uh, variation name meta is buff, and I'm enjoying it, to be honest. I'm going to enjoy it a lot more now that I have some time to Oh, yeah, it. no, absolutely. I'm, that's one of the reasons why I'm learning more characters. I want to use, use these shitty names I picked, but... um. It's, it's, it's fucking fun. I think Devora was a Street Fighter 4 Vega situation <laughs> where I I honestly think sometime around like late February, mid-March, this character was busted. And they just got nervous and like, okay, well, we don't – obviously she's too good, but we don't really know what to do with her now if we take away her stuff. So, um, and, and this goes all the way into the pre-patch game. When people were playing their fucking like lead copies – uh, back in like April fifteenth, Devora was pretty buff. She was good. I'm not mm-hmm. specifically sure what made her good, but there, that was pretty <laughs> unanimous. Everyone seemed to agree on that. And she's not now. Something changed. Yes, a lot of things changed. Right. I think just uh, her range works against her. I think were the exact words from Rio. But I mean, obviously, I main Devora. We oh, all know this. And we we've talked about it at great length um, on other on other episodes. So Most... I don't know what you're talking about. I think that she is... Actually, I do know what you're talking about. She does need buffs. It's bad. Help her out. She's bottom tier. But you know what? I mean, to me, I keep my ear to the ground as close as I possibly can. And I, the one thing I'm hearing over and over again with Devora is bad buttons. Just bad frames and bad buttons. Um, that's what I hear the most. I, I don't I, I don't intend to lap her anytime soon. Just because so many other characters are taking up my time. But um, yeah, I will see. I'll, I'll be curious. Uh, Poot mains... Or, Poot plays a Devora. I look forward to playing that. That could uh, Poot, if you're listening, that could happen tonight in theory. Uh, in about 38 minutes, we could do that set in theory. So yeah. Damn, the timer's running. You hear that shit? Um, so no Devora. You're playing Jax? Devora. Is that what you said? Say again. You aren't, aren't you playing Jax? Jax is my secondary right now. You're liking Jax. I That's, like Jax uh, a lot. It's interesting. Is really okay. Let me, let me put it this way. His best preset is boring as fuck. I, I, at first, I went with the uh, hunker down because I liked the idea of Jax the command grab. Jax uh-huh. should grab people. It just made sense to me, right? <laughs> well, uh-huh. He doesn't have any combos, and which is good. He shouldn't have any combos in that variation. And, God, your whole game is stagger overhead until, like, the fucking most, like... It's just shitty zoning, but the fact that he has any zoning at all makes it kind of dumb. Um, or at least it's resource-dependent zoning. So it's just kind of crazy to me, dude. But um, yeah, you're basically just staggering people into an overhead or throw setup over and over again. That is his whole game. So I'm like, this is this is whack. This is so boring. I can't play this. So I went to his other variation, which unfortunately loses the command grab and loses the free crushing blow. But you get combos now, and you get to do cool confirms, and I, that's way more interesting to me. And they're both really strong anyway, so I'm having fun with it. I think it's a lot of fun. He's very safe, too. Extremely safe character. Um, that is a, a big deal in this game, man. Even if you don't really know what you're doing, like, the, you're at worst, you're probably going to be negative 7, even if you haven't lived the character, and if you're just pressing buttons. Uh, that is not true with a lot of characters. That's definitely not true with my main. So, um, yeah, I, I do expect to see at least one Jax in the top 16, but that's about it. I, I don't think he's a free win, but I think he's very strong. Yeah, I don't think he's top five anymore, but he's in the top five conversation. I I am I could be wrong about that. The tier the tier lists, man. The tier list. Everybody's got one right now. Oh, yeah. But I mean it's understandable. Um th- like this game's so fucking new and uh, is this its first technical major that's coming up? Combo breaker? No, Texas Showdown was the first. Oh, uh, no one cares about Texas Showdown. <laughs> Yeah, you're okay. You're right. You're right. Um, well, there is a, a, an interesting twist to the reason Texas showed on top eight. Um, Deoxys took it with Garrus. And what makes that interesting is Deoxys won Texas Showdown last year for another Netherrealm game called Injustice 2. And he won it with Blue Beetle. That's right. I remember that. So he's a very talented player. 
it, it's 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 kind of sad, but had he not taken Injustice Two so convincingly last year, I think everyone would have been like, "LOL, Garrus," you know. But no one can really do that because the guy, the stuff he was doing with Ble- with Beetle, with fucking like jumping flight pressure into fucking like crazy cross up setups, it was so interesting. So he, if he did it on purpose, it was a brilliant plan. He's like, "Listen, I'm going to use the most broke character I can find in MK11." But first, I have to win a tournament with this high, t- this high mid tier character to make sure everyone yeah. knows that I'm legit. <laughs> and if 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 he planned, I know he didn't plan that. But if he planned that, he's a genius. So yeah. also, Beetle's probably <laughs> top ten in that game. Let's be real. Beetle's so, good. Um, Come on, man. I expect to see Baraka's not because I think Baraka is. I don't. He's definitely not top five conversation. Not even close. He is in the top ten conversation, but I think he's a little overrated. I think he has a little trouble opening people up, though. I'm wondering about that sweep. That negative two sweep is really good. So um, I'm starting to second guess myself on that. But I, th- I think his low normals are a little questionable. I think his down four is good if you can land it. I don't Man, think that I- fucking sweep is annoying as shit. Yeah. I touched it to me a minute. I had to remember. It hits that mid-screen against like half the cast. I, I, te- I haven't tested Jesus. against everyone yet. The only character I, test- I-, I tested where it didn't hit right at the starting distance of the match was Garrus. He's the only character. Was that you yeah. have to walk forward Garris, ever dude. so slightly, but it will whip that's, at that standard. That distance. shit's retarded, dude. Yes, but um, I still think, even though I don't think he's in the top 10, I still think we're going to see quite a bit of Barack in the top 16. I think the reason is, is because he doesn't really need to be good right now because his damage is so potent. He doesn't need to be good. He just needs to be right. If he hits you more than two times, you are in the deepest of shit. And I think that's a very yeah. powerful asset early in a fighting game's life. So I expect to see quite a bit of Baraka. Um, those characters are kind of up in the air. I think Noob Sabat's very possible. Um, uh, Chris G just took a West... Uh, uh, um, um, it, it was either Midwest or it was a West Coast... I think it was uh, West Coast Warzone? Uh, he just won that with a... Just won that. In April, he won that with Noob Sabat. Uh, so... Um, I didn't know he was playing noob. That's crazy. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that makes sense, actually. I think he dabbled in noob back with uh, um, in, uh, MK9, but Chris G has always been strong early on in Netherrealm games. Uh, I think Injustice oh, yeah. 2 might be the one exception. Yeah, I, I remember that dude from the other days. Man, Injustice 1? God, that shit. Yeah. Just, he had uh, a mean uh, fucking arrow. Yeah, and he had a mean fucking uh, Kung Jin. Very, very strong. He played Kung Jin? I forgot about he that. He played Ancestral Kung Jin. He was very good. Mm-hmm. And he played Deceptive Reptile before they nerfed him. Uh, definitely not a fan favorite like Jackie. <laughs> well, okay, th- that's a good segue. I think there's a good likelihood we'll see Jackie. Just because mm-hmm. um, she's, I, I, again, I don't, she's in the top five conversation, but I, I think she's going to go down a bit in time. And I, it takes you long to explain why. But she's all, she like, like Baraka. She's always going to be very strong, in my opinion, unless they nerf her. Um, right now, I think, even though she may not be the best character in the game, she's very safe for what she can do. So I think it's one of those situations where, where you know, I don't need to be good. I just need to do my thing, and it, it's, and it could work out in my favor. And that's kind of the character in a nutshell, in my opinion. Just do Jackie. Just be Jackie, and, and everything will turn out all right, probably. Um Sonic plays Jackie? Oh no! So just fucking Frumblefoot's telling us in the chat. I hope he plays Jackie because I really don't want to see Grand Finals Sonic Fox Aaron Black. I really don't want to see Aaron Black, that. man. Though I think Aaron Black might be in the Scorpion situation, where I think everyone knows his shit so well by now. I don't, unless you are an Aaron Black specialist, I don't think it's in your benefit because I think. One of his best tools, in my opinion, I mean, everyone complains about forward four, everyone complains about the safe uh, gun shit, but um, his asset is, I think, such a big tournament a- asset uh, for a character, and um, I- I- at a high level, it's going to be hard for, for anyone who's not Sonic Fox to really make that work in a grand final situation. I think acid yeah, in bad. forward four will get you all the way to top 32, but I think yeah. unless you're a specialist, I don't know how far Aaron Black is... Uh, I just don't think he's an easy win. I think he's, he's top three in the game for sure, but I don't think. Uh, yeah. Does Cassie have a six frame mid? I'm sorry, I'm reading the chat. I know, like, yeah. isn't forward four like nine frames? 
Unless we're talking about oh, our down ones like eight you... eight frames. Hold on, let me. I'm at the select screen right now. Let me, let me <laughs> pull up Jackie. Check the tapes. Oh God, why are you guys making this look at Jackie? Come on, not Jackie. Uh, Cassie, my bad. Well, that's... combat child. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> I don't expect to see a loss of zero. I don't. I think. Uh, God. I don't. It's kind of like. I think you fucking online bitches, dude. Like, man, those first couple of weeks the game was out, half the time, half my matches, I, I play Sub Zero, obviously. I'm a fucking fangirl. Uh, half my matches with Sub Zero, if I won, pe- no, no, if I won or lost, either way, I was getting the fucking messages. But fucking trash kid, whatever. Everyone was just crazy talking shit about that, dude. And now he's not even. Getting play, I he might get. Played. The only, I don't, but you're you're probably right. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not think, in top eight. That that seems too high. Forward two is just losing stock right now, in my opinion. I I, I think Sonic Fox is a little too hard in forward two. I still think forward two is really good because it's not just the overhead mix up. It's also it's also the range. Like at certain yeah. ranges, you're not allowed to move. Um, and if if you go with uh, his slide variation. Yeah, you could fuzzy that setup, but it's hard, man. In the heat of the moment, it's hard to fuzzy yeah. fucking uh, overhead into low slide. That that's not easy shit. I get bited by that all day. So, but I mean that that's why I'm not going to be top eight at fucking combo breaker or anything for a long, long time probably. Um, I'm looking. For, I, I yeah, I, I don't see him being in top eight, but I I still think Sonic Fox if is people, full of shit. Did it. I still think Sub Zero is in the top ten well, easily, but. I mean, I don't take. I'm not taking Sonic Fox's word for it. Yeah, he can say whatever the fuck he wants. He's Sonic Fox. Uh, I, 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 it, but I would like to be wrong. I would like. I would like for someone to do well with him. That would be. That'd be tight. That'd be hype. Obviously, Tom Brady comes back. If Tom Brady won with Sub Zero, that would be. I, I don't know if, if Tom Brady's even going to be a combo breaker though. Is there any word on that? Um, I don't know. He's making videos fucking every day. Uh, he he's definitely in that shit. He's not going to be confirmed. I know he's Pig not is not going. going. That made me really sad. That sucks. Pig is actually main Sub Zero in this game, or at least he was as of late April. He was main Sub Zero. Damn. <laughs> they were telling Tom Brady he's the worst Sub Zero. Wasn't he like number one in the leaderboards for a while? So, <laughs> man, listen, it's really easy to. Control Tom Brady. <laughs> uh, Cassie does not have a six frame mid. That at least not that I know. I could not find one, but but Cassie's still pretty good. Um, I don't think we'll see a lot of Cassie's. Uh, we might. I mean, she's very possible. I think the character is really, really strong. Um, but I I don't foresee Cassie showing up in top eight. I maybe I'll be wrong about that, but. I, it's funny. I really like that character in her shitty variation. I hate her top tier variation. It's so boring to me. But it's funny. I think more than any character in the game, with maybe the exception of Johnny Cage, there is she has the biggest disparity between her two presets. Um, her one preset is top ten, almost no doubt. The other one is probably close to bottom five, at least. Uh, it's which one are you talking about? Which one's the good one? Um, her uh, her uh, gun, her zoning variation with the uh, the mid gunshot. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm kind of salty about Cassie Cage because her, I, her zoning variation has better confirmed damage, not just better, but really good confirmed damage than her, quote, offensive variation, which is less safe and fucking does no damage. Like, the only benefit to her, uh, to her aura variation, that's why I call it her green aura variation, is that you can't break out of her combos. But who cares? You're going to do, like, 211 points of damage, so who gives a fuck? You get 296 for free if you do like a jump kick and do a forward two and do a fucking like gunshot extension. It's so yeah, that's you can end with a, you can do an uppercut after that. You're like at 296 points of damage, but no, I don't think we're gonna see Cassie. Uh, we're not gonna see Raiden. We might, see, you know, I don't think Scarlet's super great in this game. She's been showing up a lot in the top eights for regional uh, for locals and whatnot. So we might see Scarlet. I don't know. I don't know. Man, everybody keeps talking about how low tier Shao Kahn is. I, I have not. He's one of the four I have not lapped. I have not touched Shao Kahn at all. I have gotten absolutely decimated by Shao Kahn. And that's not saying anything. But, like, man, for someone who can do so much shit as what happens in, you know, whenever I'm playing one that's half decent, he seems like he's got some some tools. 
but you know, I'm I'm kind of here right now as a as a as a learner. Like, I know almost nothing about this. Well, that's the thing. Um, like day one, like Don Four bodied me with Shao Kahn. I'm like, oh man, Shao Kahn, this is making me sweat. And then the next day, everyone said he was trash. I never got to play him ever again. So I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, I played I played D Four Shao Kahn, and um, yeah, I was fucking uh, on the ground getting humped the whole time. Like it was it it, it was a it was a massacre. Um, but it, it, but I've come up with, I've, I, I've fought other ones too. And man, he just has, it seems like he's got a lot of like tools and options and stuff to do. He seems too good to be as bad as the internet is making him seem, which of course nothing is really as bad as the internet says it is. But yeah. I think one guarantee is going to be Cetrion. I think we're going to see at least one Cetrion on top oh, eight because of Dragon. No. So that could be interesting. Man, Cetrion, dude. I had it on good authority that she was low tier and I wasn't going to have to worry about her. Yeah, I think more than any other character in this game, Cetron had the biggest turnaround in terms of playability. Everyone was saying she was shit. And then I saw a tweet from Pig saying, you guys don't know what's coming. Cetron is going to wreck everybody. Oh my god. And then the next day, Dragon's like, playing Cetron. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I remember yeah. that one time I got to play against Pig's uh, Sinestro. I could imagine him with, with. He would know some shit about fucking Cetrion, and man, that sounds like a nightmare. I mean, he doesn't play her, does he? No, does uh, I was I was listening to Red Hot Sundays. This is like the first one after the game came out, and he um mm-hmm. he said he was main Sub Zero. Oh my, weird. But he clearly had not lived the game yet. Like he, he's a yeah. busy dude. That's going around. Sub Zero's fun, dude. I have I still I'm still having fun with that character. I'm surprised. I did not think I was going to have half the fun playing him as I did before the game came out. I think we're going to have these two Sonyas in top 16, by the way. Uh, if we don't, I will be blissfully happy, but I think it's unavoidable. I don't want to see There's that, two Sonyas in the pipeline for top 16. Come on, man. I don't want to hear that either. I got to fucking... Uh, oh, that's right. Poot did play me with, with Cetrion. Man, she was annoying as hell. Um... I expect I don't one want to fucking hear Ronda and my, well. What's up? my fucking bullshit. I don't want to hear Ronda combo breaker. No, fuck off. Yeah. God, she's shit pisses me off. That's a meta game. <laughs> it's bad enough you have to fight Sonya, but she opens her mouth and here comes fucking Ronda. Hey, I don't like you. I'm gonna kick your ass now. <laughs> just, just stop. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Why are you in my video Why game? Did you sound like Homestar <laughs> Runner. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my Rhonda impression is on point. It's flawless. All right. Well, I trust you. Um, You're gonna get it, Kano. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that chicken emote. Uh, what else? I don't want to see that. Shit. Dark horses. Here's characters I think are not like amazingly good, but I think have strong potential of showing up in top sixteen. Um, I think. Did you already say noob? Noob? Yeah, I would say he's a dark horse. Uh. Chris okay, G is yeah. the only one I know who's really doing anything amazing with Noob right now. And Chris G thinks the character sucks. So. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> Not surprised, right? That's how that works. I know this game well. <laughs> I know about the fucking downplay. Does anybody else say Noob sucks? That's not oh, no, he, a new player? He's actually one of the more polarizing characters. I think one reason is because. Uh, I still gotta, yeah, I still gotta he, mess with him. He's very style restrictive. You have to play a very specific way to capitalize with Noob. Um, yeah. So, oh, thank you, Pooh. Honey Boo. Honey Boo. Fucking shit. Honey, honey, Bee, honey yeah. Bee is Manny Noob. Um, well, Honey Bee didn't perform terribly well, from what I understand, in the league stuff, so we'll see how uh-huh. that goes. Um, that's what Wait, I heard. Honey I Bee's not why. playing Devora? What's that? She must be low tier if Honey Bee's not playing her. Devora. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. He said he, he said he really wants to play Devora Combo Breaker, but I can't imagine the guy who went Aquaman in Grand Finals at EVO 2017 <laughs> yeah. would go to Vora at Combo Breaker. I just don't believe it, so we'll see. Yeah, that that, is, that seems legit. That's probably a good strat. If she is half as bad as uh, I've heard, I don't blame I her. I gotta test her. She's probably gonna be not the next character I test, but the one after it. I'm gonna look into her pretty soon. Um, the number one Dark Horse, in my opinion, is bar none Katana. I think Katana is the most slept on character in the entire game. I think she's super good. Yeah. I have not come up against that many Katanas. 
But she has more. She she's able to do shit that I didn't think that she was. That shit can be surprisingly. Annoying. Well, she's surprising. Someone who's not an idiot, I'm sure, can do well with her. Very well. She's got a very nice mix of range and damage. Uh, she has very good access to to one very powerful crushing blow. Um, uh, she's one of those characters who has a a combo limit crushing blow, where if you get enough hits, you know, as long as you don't break away, that's free damage and it's good damage. Um, she's very safe considering her range. A lot of people are blowing that up, saying you know her safety is a bill. But like, okay, so if your if your opponent has crushing blow, you can't use your back two string anymore. Fine. Other than that, character is pretty fucking safe. Um, decent zoning, uh, fairly good down four. Um, just um, just a really good character in my opinion. I think she gets a lot of mileage out of her jump kicks. Um, she converts very into really cool shit. Um, that's actually one of Cassie's big bonuses too. I think Cassie does really well with the jump kick meta. That's not the variation where she fucking does the the Vogue pose, is it? I don't think so. I don't know anything about her Melina variation, nor have I seen it in high level play. Is that the Melina variation? I don't know. I don't. I, I, I that don't fucking know move. My Vogue shit. <laughs> you, she like fucking throws her hands in the air, and the fucking fans just go around her. Yeah, I, I haven't messed with that stuff at all, dude. That move is so hilarious looking. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. It's funny, but uh, yeah, I don't know which one's her good one. And, you know, people complain that her damage is low, but one thing people forget is she doesn't have to spend bar to get that damage. Like, you, she can get, like, 260 with no bar. A lot of characters can't claim that. That is that is not... You don't just get that for free. Um, so she's my number one Dark Horse, I think. And also, it helps that um, uh, Samij mains Katana, or at least he did as of, like, two weeks ago. So, and Samij is obviously one of the best Injustice players of all time, right? So, um... Who did he play? Uh, Justice, he played Catwoman. Ooh! Okay. Forgive my old man brain. I have a hard time... Which is weird. I, I would not think he'd go Katana in this game, but he didn't. He's very good. I saw him play Sonic Fox in one of the uh, locals. Uh, that was true. <sighs> but, um, my other dark horse is Jade. I think Jade is... What? If this game has a secret top ten, uh, I think Jade's Dude. in it. I think she's a potential secret top ten character. I have it on good authority that Jade sucks. I mean, it, I could be wrong, um, but I mean, as a read, I think four to one's pretty fucking good, and she gets three hundred damage with one bar. Like again, a lot of characters can't say that. Now she can't get that damage on confirmed. Honestly, she doesn't really get any damage on confirmed. But her zoning is so powerful, and her anti zoning is yeah. not super powerful, but super viable. Um, if you find a character uh, who can't blow up Glow on startup, then Glow is very... It's really good in mm-hmm. the neutral. It is. It's, uh... I have not, I have not seen that many Jays at all online. Um, but man, the, the the first time I played one that was competent was zoning her ass off, and I was like, damn, I didn't know that this kind of fucking character was in this game. Uh, Except for Cetrion. Like, I'm playing Injustice now. Yeah, I'm robbing, chasing everyone around the screen. It's crazy. Oh, I had the painful pleasure of doing multiple sets with Proud Disciples Jade, who's honestly, I think, like the second best person on our Discord. And uh, I got wrecked, dude. His Jade fucked me up so bad. Um, cause, and I think it, she's like noob where I think how good or bad she is really depends on the matchup. Um, but yeah. if, if someone can't deal with her, uh, her aerial projectiles, like if she can just jump neutral jump for free and throw shit, it's yeah. really hard to deal with Jade. Cause once you get close, she has so many ways to check you. It, it's a terrifying it's, matchup. It's just weird. Like, I don't like that's something that like I was not. I didn't think it was in this game. Like, I was not expecting to fucking get in here and play that kind of thing. It's fine. Like, I'm not saying it's, you know, too buff or anything like There's that. There's a really like, nice no. stylistic spread in this game, which is really surprising. I don't feel like there's a dominant meta yet, which is really the best case scenario. Which is why I think more than any other Netherrealm game, despite the fact that it's so much more balanced than the, well, at least MKX on release, um, I think one reason why people are going to the top tiers more than usual is because there is no dominant meta. I don't, I don't think there is a, a right way to play the game yet other than, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, the stagger setups, the walk back setups on, 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 on pokes and stuff like that. That stuff is still developing. That walk back tech. It works. It's, it, it's buff. Yeah. It, it, well, it's also, that stuff is very character dependent, which I wasn't sure. I'd, Cause I mean, thank God Kung Lao is a good down three. So I can get away with a lot of, 
I can I have a way out of a lot of that shit, but still though, um Just fucking down one out of everything. Just sit there and do down one fest for the entire match. That fucking that that's my whole gameplay <laughs> strategy thus far. What I, Don't push a button. I'm just gonna down one all day. It's gonna work too, damn it. Yeah, well I actually hope people do that because if I block a down one, I know I, I'm like sweet, I get my turn back. Um and that makes life so much easier for me. I I love fighting opponents who love to throw. Because the moment I read that throw, I get so much damage. Um, unless they have a fucking breakaway. But anyway. Um, who, who are you talking about? Kung Lao? All characters, really. If I block oh. a down one, I can pretty much get my turn back with any character in the game. As long as they have a decent low poke or a good mid. That's exciting. Like, I think one reason why Cassie is so good to playing is because it. she wins the poke wars so well. But yeah. We'll play one day. I hope we'll so. Work. I... I heard good things about your Sub-Zero from Down 4. He, he had much no. praise for it. Whatever, that dude. Come on, man. So, uh, that's Dark Horse number two. Don't trust him. Um, Katana and Jade are my, my top Dark Horses right now. Uh, the other Dark Horse I have is Johnny Cage. I think Johnny Cage is going to be... Um... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I uh, don't think he's super he... good, but I think he's completely viable. And I think he gets away with a lot of shit because of, of uh, the low profiling. I don't think a lot of people... Are ready for his janked up hitboxes yet? He's just—he's a very character that he's hard to hit, you know, because uh, his hitboxes are all over the place. Um, like I said, I expect at least one Liu Kang. Uh, I guess those are my only three dark horses. Woof. I don't expect yeah, to see a cabal. I, I honestly don't think think we're gonna have a cabal in the top. Yeah, game. I think that seems uh, very very probable. I wouldn't be surprised either. He's just—I he, don't think he's. I think he's a very strong character. But I don't think he's a character who does well early on. And in, in, in that type of character doesn't do well early on because he's so linear and everyone knows his shit. So you, I think surprises are going to be very powerful. Gibbick's going to be very powerful right now. I don't think he has either of those. Um, but his YOLO stuff isn't bad. Like, if he lets down three rip, I mean, that's, a, that's scary. That's a big deal. <sighs> But I actually love fighting. I love fighting Cabals because he has such good mids, and you can't help but to, but to use his mids, and that makes him so easy to whip punish. And with Kung Lao, I, I yeah. want to whip punish you because that's how I get my main crushing blow, and that's 400 damage in my pocket. God, Kung Lao can be annoying as hell. He's really good. I think people who don't think he's good, I, I think, are just... There's, there's, they're being superficial about the frame data. They're, they're looking at the frame data, and they're, they're again. That's all. Honestly, that's probably a whole other war ish, right? I think Kung Lao's fine, but I don't expect him to see. I don't, I don't think we'll see Kung Lao for a while because people are still figuring it out. Which really, you know, uh, makes it encouraging to go check out everybody's new tier lists that are coming up every day and being revised every day. Uh, it's like, man. He's been bottom eight, like, in every Come tier on. list, except for, like, Sonic Foxes. Like, it's crazy. Like, you guys, everybody, just fucking, come on, man. Everybody's jumping on the fucking tier list. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on in this game. Yeah, Kung Lao is, uh, he does not suck. By, by, by any means. And even I can see that shit. Which is ironic, because our buddy Kung Lao does not suck as part of our Discord, only he goes under Benevolent Sun now. But he was part of Gun KO's Kung Lao does not suck. Was he? I think so. If I'm wrong about that, I'm going to feel really stupid, but yeah. It's okay. He's not here. Is he? Uh-oh. No. Fuck you, Benev. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I do want to play Benev soon. Listen. Oh, man. that. Uh... Who does he play? Did he play Kung Lao? Is that what you said? I, I, he plays Kung Lao and Cassie, from what I understand. I think he plays Scarlet as well. Oh man, Scarlet. There's a character. You don't think that she? The only reason why I think Scarlet will probably I hear show so many up, weird opinions, like different opinions about her. I wasn't a believer until I saw Sonic Fox's uh, pressure tech. Like apparently, <laughs> she can jail into some crazy stuff um, uh, on her Oki. It's kind of she's. I did not give her enough credit. Um, she actually has very decent pressure for how weird her frames are, but. Um, the only reason I expect to see Scarlet is because there, Scarlet has shown up in like every top eight so far. So I'd be kind of surprised if she didn't show up now. Um, we'll see though. 
Uh, that covers all my dark horses, though. I think that's pretty much everyone. Um, Collector might be a dark horse. I think Collector's better than people give him credit. For. I was I was about to I was about to say Collector. That dude is. Uh, I, don't I think know. he is the number one candidate for being the firestorm of this game. I think everyone's going to complain that he's too weak, and I, I don't think he's honestly that bad. But he does have some problems. And but man, I keep saying that, and I like I, I like Collector. Like I hope that Collector doesn't end up being that as fuck that fucking annoying as Firestar. God, I hate that fucking character. I hate that character so much. Well, I I, I, I don't want to buff anyone right now outside of damage because... No. Like, no. Collector already has a very interesting, like, diverse tool set. I think if you make even one of his tools a little better, he could freak the fuck out on everybody. So I'm worried that he is he's the number one candidate to be overbuffed. And I don't... I mean, some characters, I don't think you can overbuff. Like, Kotal, I don't... Unless you break his damage, I don't think you're going to be able to overbuff Kotal. I think there's something kind of whack about the design right now. You kind of have to overhaul him, not Collector. I think if even one of his tools gets a little better, he could be fucking crazy. Um, yeah, and that dude is not farmed out at all. We still don't really know what Collector can do yet, in my opinion. Um, but for his range, decent damage, a very good anti-air game. Just I, I, And he has really good access to his crushing blows. Uh, I think any character with a teleport is scary in this game. Because um, you can't walk yes. him down. You know? I was about to say. Um, um, that shit... The, the game... A game as... That advertises itself for being as neutral heavy as this game. Obviously, like, man. The characters that can teleport... Uh, re- even remotely safely. And just, you know, just get around all that shit. It's a big deal. And he can. He's got a good teleport. And he's got good range, too. So if you push him into the corner... Even if he doesn't, if he can't teleport safely, like he can kind of, he can kind of check you out, and that's really powerful in this game. You know, um, I guess my final dark horse would be Raiden. I don't expect to see a Raiden's, but I think he he has top eight potential in him. I think, and I'm not just saying that because of the like the reversal tech that, that people have been talking about. I think that character has some fundamentally good stuff. Um, so we'll see. I don't know, man. Um, we'll see, dude. Uh, that's all I have to say about the characters. Uh, who do you think is going to take it? Man, I, 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 I mean, obviously, I hope not Sonic Fox, but I'm not expecting Sonic Fox to take it. Um, but obviously, I don't even know who's all going. Like, I was wrong about uh, those those other dudes. So, who is going? Who's going to be there? For sure, Scar. I think is going to be there. For, I think Scar is already there. Um, um, did I hear Tweety? Tweety's going to be there. He's got to be. That'd be crazy if he's not. I thought I heard that he was. I was like the biggest Tweety fan when I thought when I, when I when I thought he was playing Baraka. Now that I know he's going Garrus, I lost all interest in watching Tweety play. Yeah, Garrus is not a. Uh, it's not. It's not. He's not a hype character. He's not fun to watch right now. And honestly, I don't think either of those characters are a good fit for Tweety. But I think Tweety could have done something really interesting with Baraka. I think that would have been so so sick. And to me, I, I still think Tweety is going to be top eight free. But I just don't know how well he's going to do after that. Uh, is Honeybee gonna be there? What's up, Honeybee? Is he going? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I'm almost okay. positive he's there right now. Man, there's two people. I, if you if we're asking if we're saying who we want to win, I'll give you my number two choice. My number one choice. Okay. Uh, my number yeah. two choice is Justin Wong. I think that would be the Man. sickest shit on the fucking yes. planet, dude. Absolutely. Who does he play? I have no. I don't even know if he owns the game, but man, it'd be so <laughs> sick if he played too. If he fucking took it, oh god, that would be awesome. Yeah, that's the man. I'm looking forward to seeing this. That's the shit that I'm tuning in for. Um, yeah, I am really, really interested in seeing how many non NRS players play the game and how well they do. Oh yeah. Um, because I've heard there's a fair number of them, but I don't know how true that is, and won't until we you know. We get to the places and we see the people actually putting in the time to do it. But yet, I would love to see that shit. Oh, absolutely, man. And, uh, uh, and obviously, this game feels like one that's a great candidate for that. My number one would be Goichi, but I don't think he's going, so it's not going to be Goichi. Um, but so, because Goichi's not going to be there, my number one pick is Perfect Legend. I Nothing in the oh, entire no. universe would make me happier. Then a perfect legend slapped everyone in the face with his ball sack at the end of top eight combo breaker. 
Uh, I thought Otacon is not is he a perfect legend not going? I thought he said on Twitter he was driving to Combo Breaker. PL's not going? Man. Oh that gosh, that that honestly Dude. pisses me off because he's been doing this shit for years. He doesn't go to regionals and it drives me nuts. He doesn't go to tournaments. He plays ESL. He stays at home. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Oh well, uh, then my number one pick is going to be Justin Wong. <laughs> so yeah. Um, who do you want to win? Who are you rooting for, man? Dude, I don't. Who did you say? Like, I, I, I was thinking about Tweety there for just a second, but it's like if he's playing Baraka, I mean, I'm sorry, Garrus. If he's not playing Baraka. Um, anyone playing Gara is like, I'm not going to get hi- fucking hype about it. It's like Injustice 2, people's like, oh, you're going to pick Batman. You're going to pick Aquaman. Cool. Um, is Hayate still playing Scorpion? I don't know, dude. That's a good question, man. I'm, I'm not super sure. I think last I heard, he was still doing, like, Misery Blade shit. I don't know if he's going to Combo Breaker. Oh, no, he is, because uh, it's on his uh, his Twitter handle right now. So I guess that means he has to be going. Um, let me... Uh... Stock his Twitter real quick, see if I can get it. I mean, he, that guy's been like, uh, he's done, he's made top eight pretty consistently, consistently, but there does seem to be like a barrier there for him. He's also, I think, had, I think has the best track record against Sonic Fox. Could be wrong about that, but it's either him or Dragon. I, man, Dragon, yeah, there, there's another one. Uh, is he going? Dragon should be there. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I, 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 Looked at Twitter as much as I could at work today, so I believe so. It, any of these guys that we're naming, like, I would be happy to see do well. Uh, besides Sonic Fox. <laughs> now, this is who I want to win. This is not who I think but is going to win, by the way. Yeah. I don't, well, I mean, those are kind of the same thing for me right now because I don't, I know jack shit about whatever. Um, but I, I don't think that Sonic Fox is going to take it anyway, so. I think it's going to be one of these other dudes. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. I mean, I, I know who I think is going to win. I hope I'm wrong. Who, who, who do you think is going to win? Scar, who's your, I who's think Scar's going to win. Dude. Tell us. Okay, Scar. I think Scar's going to take it. And he deserves it. He's hella talented. Extremely. He, he fucking did hella good in the Injustice 2 uh, um, finals. And he didn't even practice the game. He was playing Red Dead. So, I don't know, man. Um, he's got real talent. He's a Texas treasure as far as I'm concerned. Um, mm-hmm. It's super heartbreaking he's not playing Scarlet because that was his MK9 legacy. But whatever, man. Um, I hate Sonya, but I love Scar, so I'll hold that shit. Silver Eye? I don't know much about... I, Otacon mentioned Silver Eye in the chat. I don't know... I don't really know what his resume is. I know the player, and I've seen him play a lot. He plays Luke Kang, right? I predict he'll be the Liu Kang in the top 16. I don't think there's going to be more than one. Um, because I think Liu Kang in many ways is a better Cabal. Uh, he's he's linear as hell, but I think Liu Kang gets away with more dirt. Um, that's kind of how I feel right now. But um, Oh, Goichi is going. Okay, well, he's my n- number one pick then, I guess. Um, good sh- Dude, you know Goichi main Sub-Zero, right? I did not know that. Dude, fucking, he, there was like a rage quit uh, clip on Twitter of someone screaming at him over the mic because he, he fucking, oh God, I can't, I hope he would. Dude, if the Grand what? Finals is Goichi Sonic Fox, that would be the, the best revenge match of all time, <laughs> dude. Oh my God. Uh, that's man, a good yeah, point. Uh, quick shout outs to our buddies, Brust Poet and uh, Survive Combats who are, at com- are in Chicago as we speak, getting ready to compete. So props to those guys. Fuck you, Brusque. <laughs> <laughs> Survive's cool. No problem with you, Survive. What's up? <laughs> Did, uh, Much love, guys. Luke Kane. Luke Kane players, come on. I'm kidding, Brusque. Not about Luke Kane. He sucks, but the rest of it, yeah. Town 4 is not kidding. He's salty about that Luke Kane shit. <laughs> Dude. Um... There's nothing wrong with Liu Kang. It's what's wrong with your hitboxes. Uh, we'll talk about that, by the way. What changes do we want to see? That'll be the last thing we talk about. Um, yeah. I've, I've said everything I want I want to see about predictions. Do you want to move on to DLC? Yeah, absolutely, because that is uh, what everyone is thirsty for. The people are just like smacking it. What the hell is going on in that thing? I got to stop saying that. 
Uh, don't read the chat. Everyone's smacking their fucking veins right now waiting for DLC news, and NRS isn't budging an inch. <laughs> 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 they don't give a fuck. Uh, but yeah, that's what everybody's thinking about. What, what, what... D- what do you have to say about DLC? What do you think? Uh, no, believe it or not, dude, I don't have a whole lot to say anything about DLC. <laughs> I just no one does. That's the problem. I'm not even excited about DLC or finding out about DLC. I just want to know if the leaks are true. I want to know if the data mine's true. That's all I want. I mean, okay, for one thing, we well, know I mean, the that, data mine's that true. That is a lot. What's up? I mean that that is knowing a lot about the DLC though. Like if we hear that the deal that the data mine is or is not true. That's a lot of DLC. Well, right. that's a little. It's not. We all know the data mine is true. Um, the data. It's it's all public information at this point. What we don't know yes. is if it's a plant or not. That's what we don't know. A plant or or you know uh, remnants from like an older whatever that they were thinking about, and they could have gone a different direction. They could have easily decided to go a different direction since that shit came out because not just with their development stuff, but because of the time that has been going on and whatever the weirdness has been with their development that, that they're sh- clearly struggling with and isn't is unusual for them like even if that stuff was like the plan at one point that it ended up into that switch build or whatever like it is perfectly possible for plans to have changed since then like like maybe for just one character or maybe for more like maybe they were like uh, maybe we don't want to do shiva or some shit i don't know yeah, no, that's true. Um, uh, I mean, people bring up the the Bruce Campbell thing, but the truth is, I want to laugh if Ash if Ash turns out to be Ashra. I want to laugh so hard. Like that would be the greatest oh, shit of all time. Oh man, um, dude, the internet would die. <laughs> I would die of happiness. That'd be so good. Um, yeah, dude. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't know, but I. Do you want it to be true? Yes, I do. Because I, I I really feel like this roster needs a little bit of help. I think it's significantly better than MKX's roster. But I, I had a, I had a main it going in MKX. Help, I don't yeah. have a main. In the, I have a main, but my main is Kung Lao. So I need better characters, right? So yeah. I, I want... Ah, it, I agree. Dude, I'm right there with you. Absolutely. Let me put it this way, dude. If, if I had to choose between the devil I know and the devil I don't... Like, I would rather have guaranteed Nightwolf and Sindel and Fujin than re-roll and pot, maybe get smoke. Like, I don't want to re-roll yeah. that, okay? I'd rather take the characters I know are good for sure at the loss of losing any possibility of smoke. Or Lee May. Sucks. I Man, guys, waiting for Lee May has been a horrible, painful <laughs> journey. And I, I hate love every that moment. Play. <laughs> yeah, it's... I've had my own fucked up uh, version of Death of a Salesman because of fucking Lee Main. I, <laughs> I am really, really tired of waiting for that character. Yeah, dude. This is my final MK game in many ways, right? So uh, I'm actually not the the Fujin thing has not been too painful for me because I kind of conceded long ago we were never going to see him again. Um, so I'm actually kind of okay with uh. I conceded. I want him to be should be in the game, but I think. That that wound has gone green a long time ago, man. Um, um, fucking people like in the Discord or whatever. Every time I say like, listen, that shit. Do not like you know fucking take it to the bank just yet. Don't cash that check just yeah, yet. Listen, so it, Fujin is on that fucking list. Okay, don't don't think Fujin is guaranteed ever until you fucking are playing him <laughs> until yeah, he's in the game fujin doesn't exist that, that's why I've, i wanted I've, the I've dlc for revealed already because i i it, the suspense stopped being fun a long time ago man and oh yeah i'm i'm not even excited i just want to know i don't even care if they come out this fall although that will change if i see my favorite characters up there but i really just i'm tired of waiting and i'm not super happy with the roster and um I, I, it's a better like, roster, wait, but I don't have any. None of these are my characters, though. I think the roster is a huge improvement, but I can't main Scarlet. I can't main fucking Collector. Like, I, none of my characters made it back. My favorite character in the roster is Jade, and she's the most boring thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. So I really, like I said, if I had a choice between Guaranteed Nightwolf or Reroll for possible Smoker Lee May. I'm going to go with Guaranteed Nightwolf. I, it, it's a thought experiment, so it's not really guaranteed, but I just. Like I said, I'm tired of waiting I, and yeah, go guarantee on. is the thing. Get just get yeah. I up until I don't remember 
fucking how many weeks or whatever it was, uh, maybe even like a month or whatever, uh, before the game came out, like, I was, I was stupid confident that Takeda was going to be in this game. And I was a dumbass for that. And, you know, to, Takeda makes sense. Uh, characters like, like a fucking, like, Fujin or Nightwolf or, uh, you know, fucking whatever else. Uh, Sector or Cyrax. Jesus Christ. These other characters that, uh, make sense that aren't in here either. Like, by far, the biggest enigma nothing is Cyrax is guaranteed. and Sector, dude. By far the biggest that's enigma. What I, would, I don't yeah, know what the that's fuck what I was happened gonna with say. those characters. Um, who, okay. Real quick, who was who was in the Switch leak? It was Sindel, Fujin, Ash, Terminator. I think Spawn, Joker was in there. I know for sure. Shiva and, and Shiva. Um, yeah, like even like even if one of those characters got dropped for like a, a cyborg, I would not be surprised whatsoever. Like that that is so possible. It's crazy. Um, well, the numbers don't add up anyway, so there's already some suspect aspects of the data mine side. So man, I, it's, it's hard, dude. It's really fucking hard. Um, the cyborgs are such a weird situation, just in and of themselves. It's it's ridiculous. Um, well, it's also extra I, painful because I I really I don't talk about it much because with cyborg on the show, I feel like you know lauding Cyrax is redundant. But Cyrax is legit one of my favorite characters. I love it. I, he was one of my probably my third favorite character to play in MK9. So Hold up. Yeah. This is doing what well. this just in I don't know if we're allowed to say that. Tim, what do you want to be nerfed this first day of Combo Breaker? I mean, my mantra for any Cash goes early... out today. <laughs> <laughs> Man. If we're talking about the, the pre cobble Breaker patch that isn't happening... Um, yeah, that one. My mantra has always been, early in the game's life, just nerf damage. Don't change anything. MK11 is such a special, you know... It, it's, it's such a magical swan of a fighting game, though. I am going to tweak that a little bit. Uh, I'm, going, I'm kind of going to break my own rule here. Um, but in buff damage, but um, I think we also really need to adjust hitboxes too. I think there's a lot of weird hitbox issues in this game. I think you dropped out for a second. What's the first part of that? Uh, I, I I feel like we need to adjust hitboxes and damage more than anything else. Oh, so um, not okay. Okay. I wouldn't do any explicit nerfs, although honestly, there's a lot that would be justified. Um. I'll add a third category, a third potential category. We need to readjust some crushing blows, too. Honestly, yeah. people complain about Garrus, but I think Garrus is one of the easiest characters to fix, in my opinion. Um, change his crushing blow requirements so he doesn't get them for free. Fix that. And then uh, reduce some of his damage. I think you have a very solid character there who's fine. Let him keep his mid. I think his, his broke-ass mid is cool. I don't... I don't mind characters having cool mids, uh, even if they're really, really good. Um, he can punish some stuff that other people can't. I think that's an interesting quality, right? Um, it's just his damage and his crushing blows, I think, are pushing him over the top. Um, so, yeah, re readjust his crushing blows. I think you fix Garrus for the most part. A uh, Luke Kang, who I think is, is still very much in the top five conversation. The problem yeah. with Luke Kang, in, in my opinion, is... Well, other than the fact that he doesn't really have, he doesn't really have to play the game in a lot of matchups, um, he has he, he the combination of zoning and uh, and up close guessing games is really strong with him. But fine, I don't want to do anything drastic. I just want them to fix his hitboxes so I can properly whiff punish him. His hitboxes are so fucked up that you can't really whiff punish Liu Kang on his four four bullshit, and that's really really frustrating. I was playing Brusque. And I fucking, he whiffed the forward four. And I'm like, oh, here it comes. Whiff punch of a lifetime. He, <laughs> my fucking forward one with Kung Lao went inside his chest and he high crushed my forward one combo. I couldn't even fucking believe it. I was about to do the forward one three <laughs> of all forward one threes and he fucking high crushed. My fist was like inside his fucking 
delts, dude. I was like, why is that a thing? Uh, you just can't whiff punish him right now. It's so frustrating. No, people are like, oh, my character can fucking whiff punish Liu Kang. Fuck you. I don't play your character. I play Kung Lao, all right? And my, my character has enough problems. He's, I think he's good. Everyone who's seen my Twitter post and has seen, who has seen, had, had the pleasure of reading my TYM shit knows I am the biggest Kung Lao apologetic. I think he's one of the most slept on characters in the game underneath the katana. But I hate the fact that I walked backwards. I played patiently. I got the whiff. I spaced right and I got the whiff punish. And he high crushed my bullshit. Or he just blew my fist out of the air when I tried to do four to one. Or forward two, or anything. It's so unbelievably frustrating. Um, those hitboxes need to be fixed. Leave the hitbox on forward four itself alone. Fine. If I get blown up by forward four, that's his game. He's supposed to have a good hitbox on his initial hit. But the in the follow-ups, the the forward four into the second hit into the three, that should not have a godlike hitbox in my opinion. So let me fucking properly whip punish Liu Kang. That's and, and maybe like a, a damage adjustment. I think all the problem characters can be brought to the level of reason with some some basic damage adjustments, you know. So th- that's another change I would make. Um, what else is there? Uh, I I think there's some weird uppercut whiffs in this game, but I don't want to go into examples because I haven't labbed that stuff too thoroughly yet. Um, I don't want to change too many crushing blows. I really only want to change crushing blows. For the really obviously bugged characters. Um, S- Sonya, I wouldn't really change anything fundamental about the character, except her damage. That's all I would change. She Now, honestly, we'd be completely justified to saying her projectile should be 17 frame startup instead of 12. A 12 frame projectile is fucking ridiculous in any Netherrealm game. But I, I don't want people, I don't want anyone to change their game plan. To just take away her broke ass damage. Her mix ups are good, but I think her mix ups are overrated. The mix ups are not what makes Sonya scary to me. Um, and she should be a mix up character. That's legacy from a previous, uh, from, yeah. really from MKX more than anything. But So that's all I would change on Sonya. Then there's characters like Jax. Jax is hard. I don't know what to change about Hunker Down without ruining the preset. Um, so yeah. I don't know what to do about Jax. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea how to fix Jax. But Jax, in my opinion, is clearly too good. Um, you, I mean, but Nerf, uh, I'm speaking to Otacon in the chat. Y- yeah, a damage adjustment would make Jax more manageable like, in the matchup. But, like, what do you nerf? Uh, the 1 plus 3 ender? Like, it, it almost feels like, what's the point then? I feel like it invalidates the strategy. You, you can only take so much... If you take a little damage off, then it doesn't it doesn't really change anything in my opinion. But if you take too much damage off, then like the strategy, the fundamental strategy of the character's kind of been reversed. So I don't know. Um I'll leave Jax to smarter people. I don't know what to do about him. Uh, and his best variation is not even the one I use anymore, so. Um let me pull up the select screen. Uh, the, as far as the top tiers go, sub zero, I would just fix the range up four or two. I would cut the range on forward to like in half, maybe. Um, and that's about it. That's really all I would change about Sub-Zero. Um, at least right now. And down the line, I think he needs to be nerfed more. I'm just so scared they're going to take away his fun stuff. I love the back 3-2 stagger. I think that's so cool. I love back 1 and footsies. Um, I don't want to ruin that. I think a, a, nerf the range on forward to, and then maybe... I don't know. Maybe put a flawless block somewhere, but again, I don't want to take away his fun stuff. I don't want. I, I like being able to do forward or back three two with a threat of one or the threat of throw. I like doing that. I don't want to worry about flawless block shit. It's just keep the characters fun. Um, I, what do you guys want to hear? Like, is there a character you want me to bring up? Because I, I don't want to go over everyone. Aaron Black is, is I think, is also fairly easy. I just think make the character a little less safe. And um, reduce the damage on Acid Puddle. I think it's reduce the damage over time. time. I think it'll be a lot more manageable. And maybe change the crushing blow requirement on forward four. I think if you do those three things, Aaron will be so much more manageable, in my opinion. Uh, say more, Otacon. What do you mean about take the scud shot away? What what about it do you want to remove? Uh, I, if I'm if I'm thinking of the same thing you're mentioning. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah. Take away the the four four follow up. I mean, it's it sucks to take an entire animation out of the game, but I'd yeah. be all for it. <laughs> or at least make four four more negative, so I can punish four four. If you can punish Kung Lao's four one three, why can't you punish fucking four four? I mean, yeah, a move that's... that basically has a free crushing blow, in my opinion. If you block a forward four, you are immediately into a, a slide or not slide mix up, and that's so not fun. But like I said, don't change much. Get ready to reduce the damage over time with Acid Puddle. And I, I think change the Crushing Blow requirement on forward four. Make it a, a Punish Crushing Blow or something. That would be a lot more manageable, in my opinion. And just make it a little more unsafe. I think the Gun Castle, I think, is really what puts them over the edge in many ways. But yeah, so that's Aaron Black. Any other characters you guys want me to talk about before I go into buffs? Any nerfs you want me to talk about? Because everything else is just damage, really. Everything else is just damage. Kano, damage. I think a damage buff is going to go a long way with Kano. Um, really, I think that's all he needs. Other than that, I think Kano's honestly fine. I think with his mix-ups, a damage buff is going to be a big deal. His footsies are not bad. Back three is not a bad tool. Forward four is not terrible either. Um, his, he's got really good Okazemi, in my opinion. Um, oh, Liu Kang. Fix his fucking crushing blows. The whole fucking, like... The, 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 the parry crushing blow guess up. One of the dumbest things I've ever seen in fighting games. I hate it. It's so much damage for the dumbest guess of all time. Um, yeah, so... I do agree Kano with more damage would be very dangerous, but I think he needs something, and I don't want to change anything fundamental about the character. Um, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Kiel. I just don't like Liu Kang. <laughs> it's so... He doesn't have to play the game, because once he's the life lead, you have to come to him. And he has ridiculously good zoning for his rushdown. Um, and not to mention, if you're walking forward, you are constantly on edge over flying kick. And he gets so much damage on his flying kick, it's ridiculous. Not to mention the fucking, like, uh, the, the the last hit can... Oh, let's not talk about Liu Kang anymore. Um, anything else, guys? Um, Kotal, a damage buff. I think a damage buff will go a very long way with Kotal. God, I hope Kotal gets... I hope he gets buff. I hope he gets adjusted. I'll say that. I, um... I hope he gets adjusted well, because I would like to try him out at some point. That is another change I'd make on Sub-Zero, by the way. Um, on Slide, uh -huh. make it where highest can punish Slide, please. I hate the fact that Slide uh -huh. on block and low profile shit. It drives me nuts. That drove me insane in Injustice 2. But um, but you were saying, I'm sorry. No, I just want to play... I want to play Kotal at some point, but... Uh, I think he will get some he'll definitely get some tweaks and some adjustments and i just hope that they're good well i don't, I don't know what they can mess change. up anything further like I, I think if you i think forward two is kind of a bill but if you reduce it too much in startup that's gonna be really good so i don't i don't know man like it's um it's, it's not tough. easy but i definitely I understand i can empathize a damage it's, buff uh, would go a long way in my opinion with kodal i think that would make the character much more manageable it's not even just on his combo damage, but on his forward four. I think forward four is honestly the best tool he has outside of his command throw. <sighs> well, Poot, it's not that he... The thing is, is a compensation thing. It's not that he needs more damage. It's just that it's, all, it's the only way I think we can reasonably adjust the character without redesigning him. Um, and we can't redesign. It's too early to redesign anyone, in my opinion. So... I don't know. I uh. yeah. Don't ask for redesigns. But I mean, but oh, Frost. I forget she's in the game. I think Kotal should have Baraka's damage. Frankly, I think that makes a lot more sense. Than Bar well, Baraka should have Baraka's damage too, in my opinion. But if Baraka's <laughs> not broke with having that damage, I don't think Kotal will be either. So, I, like I said, damage buff him not too much, but just enough where he doesn't have to make as many right decisions as he does before, and that will not save Kotal. But it'll make it'll make him a player. It'll make him a real contender, in my opinion. Yeah, I think that sounds like a safe approach to to, to him. I get it. I, I get it. It's a sensitive situation there. But um, yeah, I, I I I think that's a good way to go with him. And really, I don't I don't know who else I would buff like Frost. Frost is and, so yeah. No, go ahead. We still don't know a lot about Frost. Frost is very un under analyzed, in my opinion. Um, uh, 
I was seeing the stuff Sonic Fox was doing in his tearless video with Frost, and I mean, some of that looks really strong. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about Frost to really say anything. That goes double for Shao Kahn. I have no fucking clue what to do with Shao Kahn. The only thing I can say with Kahn is give him like another mid, another footsie mid he can use to kind of cover his basic options. He needs to give some. He, there needs to be something there to help other players respect him more. Because I think the highs are really holding him back. But, ah, God, I, all that's word of mouth. I don't know anything about Khan outside what everyone's been complaining about. Even then, I haven't studied terribly hard. So, um, yeah, I mean, 4 3, 4 special cancelable. The thing is, Poot, everyone is already saying 4 3 is an underrated confirmed. So, I don't know who to believe, dude. I don't know. Um, any other characters, guys, you want me to talk about? Anything else? When do you think. If they were to, 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 you know, do such a patch like this, like, when would you want a patch like this to, to get pushed? Monday. Um, that soon? Yes, absolutely. Man. I mean, like, I mean, Combo Breaker is going to be very telling. Um, people, sure, yeah. and this is what, I, before we started the show, I was saying this was a taboo topic. Because one of the talking points is, if we don't have character variety in the top eights, no one's going to watch our boring, shitty game. Yeah. Um, which I don't think this game is boring or shitty. I love this game. No. I, I hope I, I hope I never convey that I don't like this game because I think this game is amazing, guys. But you do talk up this game a lot. I think yeah, you might like it. I, I have a feeling. I think you're having fun. But um, <laughs> I just, I mean, it just come on. Like some of them are so obvious. Like Sonya's damage is so obviously unnecessary to me. I think. Garrus is crushing blows. I don't. I don't even want to change that much about Garrus. But no, if we do damage adjustments, no one is going to have to change their game plan. Um, you know, unless the people who really want the esports money will go to a better character. But other than that, I think we're fine. Uh, Cartoothlo asks, "What would you do with Scarlet?" Yeah. Um, I would remove one or two of her. Uh, I don't know which ones, but I'd get rid of some of her. Uh, I would ditch some of her flawless block gaps, and that's about it. I think Scarlet's really good. I think Scarlet's actually... She keeps going down and up in my tier list. I think she's going to stay up for a little while. I don't think she'll ever be top 10 anytime soon. But I think Scarlet's kind of overrated and underrated at the same time. But yeah, just remove some of the gaps. I think some of the gaps are unnecessary. Cetrion? Boy. Now, there's I'm a Cetrion I, temp. I don't, man. I don't fucking Are you know. a Cetrion expert? From what I've played and what I've seen, Cetron seems to be one of the most, like, leveled characters in the game, in my opinion. I wouldn't change anything from what I've seen so far. I'm not going to say she's fine. I think she's really strong. We may have to reevaluate her damage, but that is it. I wouldn't change anything about Cetron right now. Man, I, I don't even remotely know enough about... Uh, well, most of these characters, especially not Cetron, though, to have any thoughts there man i will say i mean i have some other ideas I and mean, there's stuff i want to do that i won't because I, I think it's too early changes i would like to see i would like johnny cage uh his rage shit not even viable it's a joke it's so bad um you can poke out of all that shit on reaction you will never block rage against uh, a good a good player will never be stuck in a rage setup um that needs to be reevaluated hard, but it's too early. Not not too early to say Rage is good or bad. Rage is shit. But Johnny, it's too early to say if Johnny is good or bad, in my opinion. I think Johnny right now has some decent shit. Again, damage. I, I maybe give a little, just the slightest damage buff to Johnny, and that is literally it. Um, I think he has one of the best uh, neutral games when it comes to pokes and footsies. I think he's really strong. His, four, his down three is just so potent, I think understudied. Um... Oh, all the down threes this game understudied, in my opinion. I think down threes are going to be a big part of this meta. Um, Jackie, down threes are buff. What's up? Down threes are buff, you're Man, right. I can't wait till we get to play again. I can't wait to show you how dumb Kung Lao's down three is. It's so beautiful. Oh, that um, sounds exciting. Oh, so fantastic. But yeah. Um, oh, fucking. Jackie, the opposite of Cage. I would just reduce her damage a bit. That's all I would do. Ugh. Cassie, I don't, I don't know. Fan favorite, everybody. I would actually buff Cassie, believe it or not. I would leave her, her, quote, good very... Well, no, okay, I take that back. I would nerf her damage on her uh, gun generation, but I would buff the damage on Aura. That green Aura shit, it's... 
The only good thing about it is it gives you an unbreakable combo, in essence. That is it. Other than that, that damage is way too trash. Why does the zoning variation have better damage and better conversions? It doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so I'd give her other her, her green aura preset more damage. Her zoning preset, less damage. And that is all I would change with Cassie right now. Um, again, Monday. This always happened Monday. Yeah, totally Monday. When is the next uh, major after come over here? Uh, CEO. Is it? I want to say it's the last week of June, but I'm not super sure on the date. Okay, okay. Uh, I... Otacon asks, do you guys think they should add new variations, new variations with each update? I don't think with each update. Um, God. I think you've said before that in practice after the game came out, the, the, the lack of variations wasn't as much of a problem as it felt like before. When um, I started studying custom moves, I got a little worried. I'm thinking this shit's not ready yet. It may never yeah. be ready. Um, I... I Definitely uh, agree with that. Some I definitely have some of that going on, and I'm not as like thirsty for variations as I am some other things in the game. Uh, I think there's still plenty of uh, untapped stuff with the competitive variations at the moment, um, and room to and, and and yeah, room to do shit with it. But you know what else they fucking need to add with every update to the game? Every fucking thing else. Give me something that I can put on my sub zero to make it not look retarded. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. That'd be fantastic. I, I'm, I'm having fun with his variations. Just give me something to fucking look at, too, man. Well, if my theory is true, um, they're going to open up uh, custom variations uh, competitively for MK11 XL, which is approximately March 2020. That's what I've been saying since before the game came out. I said I, that shit all day. Come on. And I think you're right. I think you're 100% right. I'm singing my song. With that in mind, to answer Otacon's question... I think they should release only one preset for every character, and it should happen after Revo. Uh, right now, I think we're so close to a balanced game. I one additional preset? Just one. And that is all you have till March 2020. Okay. I, I just, I feel like we're so close to a balanced game, I don't want to jeopardize that right now. We're so, I, we're I, so, the closest maybe we've ever been, but yeah. I know, I agree. And I think that um, opening up customs for MK11 XL, I mean... I like that idea better now. Like I like that idea better since uh, post release, and it'll make MK11 XL like way more interesting and exciting than usually their uh, complete editions are. It'll 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 be that will that will be a big fucking change. It'll be a big deal, and it will that also gives them, you know, obviously time to work on that shit uh, between now and then. I think that's a good call. And I think and, they're yeah, buying I, time right now. I think that's a big strategy at the moment. Yeah, just trying I, to I think that's that's the the most likely uh, scenario. I, I think Paulo has a flowchart where he's like, "All right, here's the plan. If X happens at Combo Breaker, this is how we're going to proceed with the balancing, and this is how we're going to proceed with the custom moves. If Y happens at Combo Breaker and CEO, we're going to proceed this direction with the custom moves and with the presets. I think that's what's going on, and we're just it's, it, right now we're just in the middle of chaos theory." We got to see where the water droplet falls down, right? So it's still like such a it's it's important thing to think about that, um, you know, the public didn't get hands on this game until fucking January of this year. Um, They have just not had a lot of time to analyze player feedback and user feedback. And they're going to be looking at combo breaker more than they ever have before. That shit. They're 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 going to be watching that shit like a hawk. They're going to be in the back all held around TV. Oh man, I'm excited. And um, I mean, Boone's already there. Boone lives there. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, to answer uh, Cartuthalo's question, do you think they will add new moves uh, to each character in the new update? Not this update, but possibly. I don't th- I don't want presets till after Evo, but I think what will happen is within within the first patch, um, you're, some moves are just not going to be in the presets anymore. <laughs> I think um, you're just going to wake up one morning and um, Kotal Khan is not going to have his blood totem anymore. He's going to have a damage totem instead. I think that something like that could happen. I don't think we're going to see brand new moves added to the game, though. I think there's going to be some altered presets um, overnight. But at most, I don't foresee any new moves till 2020. Not not newly animated moves, at least. And I I think every character has, like, in their mix, in, the, in their arsenal right now, good stuff. And enough stuff to make good multiple good variations out of um that shit just takes time and and 
watching other people playing their fucking video games. It's super important. Um, I, I think they have all the tools they need already in the game right now, though. I think that goes even with, I mean, especially for, like, Kotal. Like, if if, Kotal, if you just switch out Kotal's totem to damage instead of a life build, he might be high mid. He might be taught. I don't know. That could be really scary. If Kotal has, like, a 25% damage boost, that could be horrifying. Especially yeah. if he has a command grab yeah. back. Um, and, and I, I don't know, man. Like, we'll see. We will see. Um, Monday. Yeah, the shit goes up on Monday. I don't think there's any reason to wait, though. Like, I think if we're just adjusting damage and hitboxes, then we're not going to jeopardize anything at CEO. You know, um, I don't want any character to be the new Tanya. And I don't think we have a Tanya no. in this game yet. I think that's good news, you know? We do not want a Tanya or an Aliener or any kind of else. Or, um, hopefully that doesn't happen. But I'm not, I don't think it. I don't, I don't think it will. I think that they learned from Tanya not to do Tanya again. Um, hopefully. I hope that's not a famous last word situation, but boy. Shang, man, whenever that guy's coming. Yeah, gosh, that's a fucking blow up, too. We don't know anything about Shang Tsung. That's, I mean, yeah. We, we, that, Shang Tsung's like the new Devorah now. We fucking saw a picture of him forever ago, and no one's saying shit about him. Uh,. I totally understand. Well, yeah, I, I I understand that I'm okay about them not talking about DLC, or at least I can understand. I can see why they might be why that might be the case, and uh, uh, what kind of problems might be going on that could be the fault of that. But uh, where Shane is concerned, they need to talk about Shane. We know about Shane. Everybody wants Shane. Uh, everybody's hype about Shang, and we have known about him for a long time now. Um, and and I think that he's like a. I think he can be really interesting for this game, for this Mortal Kombat. They, I really want them to talk about Shang, and I don't think it's gonna be much longer before they will. Like people are getting really, you know, like Call of Breaker. They're gonna do. They're gonna announce all the DLC. They're, it's gonna be like a big event for DLC. Um, I'm not assuming jack shit right now. Um, but hopefully, if nothing else, there will be something with, with Shang. We, we'll get to know something about Shang. I hope. God damn it, dude. It's been so long. Well, there's one thing working for Shang, and there's one thing working against Shang. One thing working for Shang is that he's one of, this is one of those rare instances where I know I'm going to play in lab and learn the DLC character, which isn't usually the case for me. Um, that wasn't, I, I messed around with like Tanya and shit, but there was, and Justice One and Justice Two and MKX, there was really, there wasn't really a DLC character for me. Triborg was the closest thing, and I wasn't really happy with Triborg. Uh, not till way later into the game's life, well past Injustice Two. Shang is different. I'm going to learn Shang. I'm going to run him in sets, and uh, which leads me into the thing I'm not looking forward to Shang, which is the Shang army on our Discord. Like everyone is picking up Shang, you and me included, including Poot, including Down Four, including Randy. And so on, and so Listen, on. Listen, I'm gonna, so. I'm gonna mess around with Shane. I do not expect to see me playing Shane like in sets and shit, uh, unless they surprise me. And his gameplay is uh, not what I'm, you know, expecting. Unless it's surprising, and I, I hope it fucking is surprising. It better be. Uh, this is a giant opportunity for that character to fucking do something cool, and then to do something to see new Shane shit. And I and I, I just I want them to I want Shang to be cool. I, w I don't want Shang to be what we all are expecting from Shang, or not at, at least not what we're not just what we're expecting. I want to see the new shit with Shang. I'm excited for Young Shang, dude. If he's in the game, I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm excited for the fucking that shit. Uh, as far as gameplay goes, and. You know, fucking uh, for the for the character, they, they could do a lot of shit just with the character, looks, gear, uh, like whatever. Um, man, it feels been, it feels like it's been a long time since uh, Shang's been like had some new interesting shit going on. Just because, I mean, mostly that's because obviously MK9 was a reboot and it, he was Shang. Shang has always struggled with that because he's always been the morph character, so he's always it's always been a challenge. 
to reinvent Shang. Uh, the closest we ever got to it was Deadly Alliance, and uh, and then that kind of I, I don't was know what he was. Looking. He was really weirdly designed in that game. Though I like his. That's probably my favorite Shang costume of all time is his alternate and Deadly Dude. Alliance. But okay, um, well, the alternates all right. Then I, I don't know what the fuck they do with Shang in Mortal Kombat versus DC, and I'll never find out. But right back in MK9, Shang went vanilla again. Uh, he was skulls and morphs, skulls and morphs, boats and hoes, skulls and morphs, right? That so I I don't know what they're doing this, which isn't surprising. Like MK9 was mostly developed like prior to Warner Brothers coming on board and doing that shit. They got way more people in there now that have done some uh, cool shit with with old characters like that, and I'm really interested to see those types of people, the new shit. People pushing Shang and getting to do new shit on him. Yeah, I, I think he looks good right now. I'd like to see it in action with new shit, old shit. As long as he's fun and as long as he has some of his MK9 utilities, I like the traps and shit. That was really what made the character interesting to me. But I never played yeah. him on high level on MK9. I, I'm like you know, there, there's no doubt he's gonna have some of that MK9 shit going on. And that's kind of been true about a lot of the characters in this game that they're bringing back. But they also have other shit that does make them more interesting or, or, or just new like it kind of satisfies both a little bit at least um but it, i don't know it just feels like shang has never really gotten that treatment and i guess it's because he hasn't i'm hoping uh, I'm for his uh really curious to see what they do with him if i there's only, only only two things i want with shang the traps and shit and um for his fatal blow i want him to turn into Kataro. those are the probably the two things i really want more than anything uh, I was actually thinking that it'd be cool if he had like a fucking uh, a Goro summon that would be tight. He just pulled fucking Goro out of somewhere and he's like, ah, whatever, beat this shit, and then I can sit down on a chair while Goro fights him for a minute. Well, Reptile was his guardian in MK1. It would be cool if he can summon reptiles like a projectile. He just makes him like dash forward and shit. See, look at all this fucking shit. He could do that. He could fucking summon Ermac out of somewhere to do some soul shit and go away again. Uh, there's lots of fun, interesting shit that they can do with uh, Shang, and like really play up boss Shang aspects and not just like the, the, the playable Shangs that we've seen before. Uh, that that would be tight. Um, seeing that boss aspect of the character. That'd be really fun. And yes, turning into Kentaro would be fun too. I agree. I think uh, the funniest outcome is, is if he turned into Melina, but... Oh think, my god. Don't. There's no such luck, right? Don't do that, dude. Fucking. Uh, it's funny, man. It's kind it, of funny. It it uh, okay? Yeah. Listen, I agree, and I'm all for trolling. I'm always all for trolling. You see that shit, but man, those guys are getting to the point now where uh, you know they're taking the fun out of the trolling. Those guys are just going in crazy hard. It's they're they're they're, they're nutty. Well, that's why I'm worried about the data mining because people think that. You know, Ed Burn, Ed Burn, holy shit. Ed Boone has been, you know, has this innate talent for trolling. No, he worked on that. He, he honed that over the years. Right now, he's training in 50 times gravity to be the best troll he can be. So that's why it's hard for me to trust the data mine. Uh, so. Yeah, everybody's like, have you seen this data mine shit? There's no way. There's so much work put into this. And I'm like, no, there's not. <laughs> There is no way. They fucking could stick, you know, we've heard all this bullshit going on with them. They just took two temps, stuck them in a room, and it's like, listen, you guys don't get to go home until all this shit's written. I don't care what you write. Write some bullshit these characters might say somewhere. And some of it could be incomplete. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Just do it. Uh, we're not paying you for this. Do it anyway. Bye. Are there other dialogues in the data mine? Like, are the the, the ones in the game right now visible in the data on, on, the, on the Switch mine? Uh, okay, Otacon says yes. Yeah, like people are pulling up from somewhere. Because I can, I can just imagine Ed Boon knocking on Kittleson's door and be like, I had the greatest idea of a troll of all time. Are you busy? I need you to write a lot of Sindel and Aaron Black shit. Like, that's what I'm picturing in my mind. There is nothing, and I've, I've read that shit. There's nothing in there that's like, whoa, this clearly came from the hand of a talented. A uh, person who was taking this seriously. This was difficult to come up with. I can tell. No, dude. Any halfway educated person, Mortal Kombat fan, could write this shit in their sleep. It was not easy. Oh, Fujin's a Johnny Cage fan. 
Yeah, I can see that. I, I didn't know Hot that. Take, right? I haven't read any of that shit, by the way. I, I'm not super familiar with what, what what's, what's in that data mine. I mean, there's not as that much fucking dialogue. Sindel wants to fuck everyone, apparently. Like, I guess that's just a thing with the uh... man. She's like Melina. She's she's Cougar Melina. Oh, that's sick, Poot. The, the Soul Calibur reference from Scorpion and Spawn. Yeah, that is tight. I didn't. Damn, that is so Soul still sick. burns. I didn't it's know cute. that. That is so tight. All right. This game definitely is. Uh, they have not shied away from the references and puns and just whatever. It, it doesn't feel like any of that shit's off uh, limits in this game, which is good. Finally, it's the way it should be. Luke King's gonna beat my ass with a pail of water. By the way, quick shout out to Aramon. It's been a while, dude. Good to see you again. I still want I to love play you, that, so. You've been missed. You have been missed. I'm looking forward to not being uh, AFK quite as much as I have been recently. So, I'm going to fight you too, Armand. I don't know if I've, have I ever, have I ever fought you, Armand. I don't know if I've ever done anything with Armand. Maybe I have. I don't remember. Whatever. We can fix that. Nah, we're not doing questions tonight, but this is our this is our 43 minute episode. So this one will go up soon. Yeah, this was a very, very, very uh, not planned so much pre combo breaker. <laughs> episode hopefully you know we can make that work listen we had to stop in the middle because i had to fucking uh, redact myself um <laughs> it's gonna be fine 43 that's minutes we're got, some speed bumps. those are the only three topics i had um yeah that's all i got i don't have anything i'm just i'm i don't like i'm just excited to watch combo breaker i'm i'm excited to watch combo breaker and that giving me things more shit to talk about because that's what because you had it Stop trying to get me to talk about the thing I'm going to redact against. Stop it. Um, I'm excited to watch Combo Breaker and that to get me excited and get like fucking salty about something or get excited about something else and see this shit and see new shit coming from this game that I haven't got to see yet. Um, uh, that's kind of uh, what I'm excited about right now. And that shit, like we said, it starts fucking today. It's Friday now. So it's going to be sick. And. Um, Everyone, listen, don't bet the, like, you know, don't set yourself up for disappointments being like, oh, God, they're going to fucking show the DLC at Combo Breaker. Dude, there's so much, like, cool shit and exciting shit that's going to happen at Combo Breaker that doesn't have anything to do with DLC. Uh, I know, like, I, I'm I'm more than ready for that shit to be, um, to, to, to be addressed and to hear shit about DLC. Real quick, I was going to say a good farewell to Aramon. He's taken off, so. God damn it, Aramon, how dare you? You take care, you. sir. Yeah, man. But DLC, Ar- yes. Armand's the best. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, just don't go into it being like, you know, like we did. Don't do what we did last year. <laughs> don't sit around like, oh, they're going to reveal MK11 at Combo Breaker. Oh, they're going to reveal MK11 at E3. Like, you know, just. If that's why you're tuning in, you probably. I, I, I would recommend not tuning in if that's what you're there to see, because that's not. I don't think that's going to work out so well. But I'm just excited to see people playing this game and seeing new shit in this game and getting excited about new shit that I didn't know about. I hope you guys are too. I and if they show some DLC shit, it's going to be great. But it might not happen. What was I'm, not, I'm not really excited to see anything. Like, for me, the best case scenario is Ed Boon comes on stage. He's like, yeah, Fujin and Del and I were friend of the game. You all have a good night. Hope you enjoyed the top eight. Like, that would honestly be all I need. Like, I don't even need to see shit. But um, that, even that's like more than I'm, um, I'm, I'm I'm thinking about anticipating. It could happen. Like I, I, I'm not saying they could. They, they they're not showing anything. I'm just saying like I don't. Don't be butt hurt because it doesn't. Because it, it happens, man. It could easily there could easily be no info there. Just as easily as there could be. We'll see. Um, I would like to take get, a moment to. Uh, invite our 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 very blessed listeners to send me a schedule for combo breaker if you got it if someone could link that get me to happiness all your days i thought i saw one earlier maybe i didn't I don't i'm know. looking now i can't find shit okay i found early polls but i don't I, that's pulls on this doesn't show the schedule Thought Tester might would have it, but I don't see it. Eleven? 
Shit starts at 11. 11? Fuck me, dude. I'm not going to be awake at 11. That's not that long away. I had to wake up at 11 o'clock today. I thought I was going to die. Um, I normally go into work at 3, so... Man, I have to do yeah. so much to make this weekend possible, so I'm excited, man. I'm glad you're you're going to be there. The, oh, thank you, Poot. I'm glad you're going to be there watching there it this, is. Too, man. I and I, I mean, I, like I said, I have not gotten to experience this game anywhere near as much as I have either playing the game or all the shit that's going on outside of the game that people are experiencing with the game and Combo Breakers. Color Breakers just sounds fucking fantastic to me. Watching that shit and and getting to learn more about the game now that I have the, the chance to. It's going to be fucking tight. And hopefully seeing some sick characters. Well, dude, uh, some shit. I'm Is hoping that... for your sake there's some sick-ass Sub-Zero shit out there, man. I hope. Uh... Uh, I, I mean, I'm not expecting it, but it's okay. Listen, I still got... <laughs> I still got that hype secret character I'm working on. Maybe I'll see some tech for that guy and keep playing him. Well, uh, I mean, Poop brings up a good point, dude. I think the coolest way you could see some Sub Zero tech is if Goichi puts on Goichi, you know, yeah, his dude. boots in the morning and fucks up everyone with Sub Zero. I don't think anything would make me happier than that. I would, I would love nothing more. That that's that would be amazing for me and just amazing to, for as a show. I guess it'd be entertaining as fuck. I hope I can wake up in time for this shit because Top Twenty Four is uh, eleven a.m. Sunday. It's gosh, it's gonna be fucking hard, dude. But I'm excited. Um, gosh, it's all Soul Calibur Top Eights at one thirty. Shit, dude. But yeah, okay, we'll make it happen. I'll I'll buy some coffee, some beer. <sighs> those <laughs> those seem counterproductive, like or, or conflicting. But well, I'm not gonna mix them together. Mix them together, do an Irish or some shit. I don't know what that shit's called. Have a cocktail. Um, I'd be like the grossest boiler maker of all time. That sounds disgusting as hell. It sounds. Yeah. Um, don't think about DLC. Just watch Cobble Records. It's gonna be sick. It's one of these sick games there. Dude, fucking Sunday evening is gonna be the dream. I get to start watching Tekken Top Eight at four thirty into Mortal Kombat at seven thirty. Man, Sunday night's gonna be so lit, guys! I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really do. This is gonna be an epic tournament. All right, uh, enjoy Combo Breaker, everybody. Everybody, hopefully, we'll see you not too long after to to talk about all that shit. And uh, Goichi's amazing performance with Sub Zero. Have a good time, everybody. See you guys later. Yeah, take care, everyone.